right, let's get this brief. You are near the Russian group that is testing the new AAW missile. The test ship is a Udaloy. Your mission is to collect data on the characteristics of this new weapon. This intelligence is critical to the design is, of the AAW countermeasures that protect our pilots. AAW anti-air warfare? By leaving port without being tracked, you have been able to establish a favorable position to the east, ahead of the missile test group. The Udaloy is proceeding at a moderate speed Udaloy. with only normal defense. Okay, maybe the, uh, the Halifax counter-detection plays in this, maybe the last at mission. Periscope depth, ready to intercept all radar information and data exchange between the firing ship and the missile, and also to take periscope photos of the test. Mission's always janky. There are escorts with the Udaloy. While you must take station on the Udaloy, <laughs> you should also note the position of the escorts and avoid being detected. If you are detected, the Russians will delay the Udovich. test and a valuable <laughs> intelligence collection opportunity will be lost, along with your chances for promotion. Do not take offensive actions against the Udaloy or any escorts, surface or submarine. <laughs> yeah, the no intelligence crap. collection is critical and must not be compromised. The Office of Naval Intelligence estimates that this test is protected by submarines, but has not been able to determine the location of any submarine escorts. Take care not to be detected. Yar, matey, yar, yar, yorky, smirky. Fixing this mission for sub for dangerous waters and I was porting it over it took a lot of work. Cause like the the speed the the minimum speed the plane can go in dangerous waters is a lot faster, so you had to like redo the timing on the launch and everything. Kind of a janky mission. And they're so vague, like, continue to collect data. It's like, can you just be a little more prescriptive? <laughs> I don't want to play. I just want to bang on the sonar array. <laughs> I don't want to work. Just want to bang on the sonar array. A300 seems like an expensive test target. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they'd want to... I don't even know if they had any Airbuses at this point. Who knows? Hello, Mark11. How's it going? The Russians want a huge target for this test. <clears throat> Why not use a... Uh... I don't know. I was thinking of something else to say. Maria, but that was, that was a Ukrainian plane. This is after the breakup of the Soviet Union. Anyway, let's do it. Retrieve the starboard towed array. Hell my. Con sonar. I have a new contact. Bearing zero four seven. Designated Sierra one. Bottom limited. Very well. Oh, my, my port to dangerous waters. God, I wish I had time to work on that. All these bottom limited missions, I made it like mutter, mutter sand bottom just to make the sound propagation a lot worse because this rock bottom propagation is, uh, it always seems a little silly in these shallower areas. This area is not terribly shallow. Uh, but no, Bob, to answer your question, I have not shot for an SSD. I was wondering if someone else is going to chime in. I haven't bought one in a while. Can't get past a prompt. Oh, when you're starting it, what does the prompt say? Oh, look, here's a... What? What? Now baffles are being drawn. 
John. The heck was going on in the last mission? Still doing on both Sphere and TA. I didn't have the TA out in the last mission at all. M.2 shares a PCIe lane with the boot drive. System won't even boot. I thought that would just make it slower. I thought it wouldn't. I didn't think it would make it just not. Or like in theory slower. Like SSDs are insanely fast. I, I didn't think it would make it just not work. Does Dangerous Waters have these god rays? These sunbeams? Those I don't remember. But it's a nice little visual touch. Do we have coordinates for this test? Yes. 74, 20, 42, 12. Blop. Uh, test ski. I did H again for course. <laughs> I want to insert for waypoint, actually. Two forty four, the test takes place at eleven twenty eight. Oh goodness. Okay, well we got a boogie. Make turns for eight knots, maneuvering eye. I guess before I do that, let me just clear these Toad baffles real quick. Let's take a five knots. Come right on. Let's take a peak ski. Seven. Hell my. Yeah, see, okay, I was talking about this last time. There's an option to turn this this kind of stuff on these reflections and subcommand. I don't think I ever knew that. It makes it look not as bad. <laughs> Yeah, the M.2 is, uh, that's like PCIe 4.0 or something. It's like some point we'll need it, but right now it doesn't really, it doesn't make any kind of noticeable difference if you're playing a game. And if you're transferring files, you can look at like the, the data transfer speed, but yeah, SATA, SATA is plenty fine. Of course, I have an M.2 SSD. <laughs> it's kind of like, eh, hey, why not? I don't know what the price difference is like these days. Take her deep and crank it up. Oh, I wish, but we don't have a layer. Sierra 2. Okay, that must have been me because it's no longer up here. Still waiting for this thing to turn. Oh, my load times are always slow as crap because I got... I got the wrong RAM to have 64 gigabytes and have the uh, the Expo profile turned on. My my PC has to do the uh, the memory learning every time I turn it on. It takes like 90 seconds, 60 to 90 seconds or something. But I just generally put it to sleep most of the time, anyways. Even if it does take that long to turn on, just go grab a drink or go look at nature or something. <laughs> It'll be on when you come back. Okay. I don't I don't think I'm gonna see anything that the, the, the auto crew wouldn't have already seen. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to run some uh some like little intervals here.
do like cold water style, run like two thirds a mile at a time here. I have a new contact bearing zero. Oh, who's that? Sierra three. That might be that. That might be a, a sub. That is indeed a sub. Hot damn. I somehow missed that when I was scanning through. <laughs> We got ourselves a sub, ladies and germs. <laughs> Probably was like, I don't know whether to be excited or 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 dis or not disappointed, but like, ugh, because it's kind of like right in the way. We need to figure out which way he's going. Oh, look at that! A cool model. <laughs> This narrow band is awful. <laughs> when I click on Dangerous Waters for Steam, it boots me out automatically. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you need like the you need like the D three D eight. Uh, fix for it. Hold on a second. Are you in Discord, Mark Eleven? I can link you to that. Should be able to just plop it in and play some DW. Subsim is f is fine. I don't know. I don't know where this notion that subsim is jacked up comes from is fine it, the link to it is on subsim but it's actually hosted on a different site the fix it may be hosted on subsim but the, the site i always get it from is from the guy who makes the fix Uh, I'll let me plop this into the chat. Let me bring this up. Pause the game. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. All right, here we go. There's the link to the the latest D3 D8 fix, and it actually lets you run the game in a window without DXWND. I have tested it. All right, let's get back to it here. I need WinRAR or 7-Zip or something. <clears throat> He steered around like it's the 70s. <laughs> All right, Mr. Akula. Ooh, if you're heading that way, that would be utterly fantastic. Looks to be the case. Okay. Let's freaking end around this dill hole. Question is, how close is this guy? Okay, let's go this way. Come left to course three, zero, five. Hell my. No, in fact, let's go due west. I feel like we actually need to, like, lose track of this guy. Can't go that fast near him. Oh, no, wait. Come right, come right, come right. Ah, no, it's fine. It's not cold water, so we can lose him in the baffles. <laughs> How ESM will work in 2092. <laughs> I don't know, it might still be classified then. I 
Oh, we turn so quickly in sub command. Yes, we do. <laughs> I don't know what I just said. Yes, we turn so quickly in sub command. Yes, we do. Doozy boop boop boop. <laughs> You're welcome, Mark 11. Has it worked? Hey, look at this bum. Is that still good data? Looks to be. Yeah, he's going four knots. I, I'd be curious if the if the auto teammate could get that solution if we were both going four knots. I guess we'd have to be going completely parallel, but that should be in theory like an unsolvable solution. It should be like an infinite number of ranges satisfy it. But uh, now is not the time for science experiments. I do wish the sonar would tell you in this game when you lose a track. That would be. That would be nice, because it kind of just like fades. It's like, are we still tracking them? I don't even know. Oh, the model in this game is terrible. <laughs> I think the same model was in Dangerous Waters at first, but then they quickly released that, that nice looking 688i model. I don't know about quickly, but one of the patches got a, an updated 688i model. If I remember correctly. If I remember correctly that this was originally the model in Dangerous Waters, which I think it was. <laughs> He's a fair weather friend. Looks like we're about to lose him. It's fine with me. I need to lose this schmuck. Skip on around him there, because we, we got... We are getting a little down on time here. I'm going... Okay, so my assumption is that... This may not be a fair assumption. But I think I'm going to assume that there is no other sub between me and the test. Or at least if there's another sub, it might be further back here. I'm going to assume there's no other sub in this this region here. Oh, you guys can't see my mouse. I'm going to assume there's no other sub here. There may be another sub up here. I don't know if that's a fair assumption, but we're going to go with it because time is a ticking. It's been 20 minutes. I haven't really gone anywhere. Go to seven knots here. Make turns for seven knots. Maneuvering eye. Come right to course two, nine, seven. Hell my. Now um, I'm gonna Come I'm gonna stay at two seven zero. I was trying to like kind of go on like a circular path with them, but we're still like within decent audible range. It's, I, and we need to open this up. Need to like lose him to be more confident of going faster here.
Make turns for nine knots. Maneuvering eye. Come right to course three, zero, two. Hell my. I don't even know if it's in the cool. I just put that as the worst case. It could be a victor or something. I don't I don't know why they didn't put Sierras in this game. I don't know why they didn't put Virginias in dangerous waters. <laughs> I should have put Virginias in dangerous waters. <laughs> oh yeah pings are generally laughable in this game they don't generally ever detect you but we'll see once we get closer yeah we're still just barely picking up that dude the premise for this is silly. Like, if there's a sub right there, it's like he's gonna gonna hear us. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what does it matter if he hears us? I mean, I don't know. What's he gonna do? I mean, I guess come after us, hound us. <clears throat> okay, we ain't got time for dilly dally. We gotta go. We gotta. Make turns. I get cooking and booking here. Come right to course three, one, four. Hell my. We're gonna have to go like 15 knots <laughs> to get up there. <laughs> Eleven twenty-eight. Okay, that's a little more margin. Well, what's up with the sudden readjustment on that solution there? Okay, there we go. It's more like it. And I need to remind myself that in here you don't really need to slow down like in cold waters to get more sonar performance at those low speeds. Come right to course three, four, two, hell my Okay, can we still hear this guy? Doesn't look like it. Come right to course zero zero zero. All ahead, standard. Hell my. Going forward, the old one fiver. I think the toad is gonna wash out at this point. No, thin line's still running strong, huh? I think it would have washed out. When does the thin line wash out in DW? I don't remember. Oh, I, do I have to go in the manual to see which is which? I'm fairly certain it's uh. Still, thin line is still standard in this one. Pumpjet and Cheyenne. Can anyone confirm that or not? I know that's always been like a point of contention. Is it a pump jet? Some have said it's a ringed prop. Screw. Sonar intercept. I got the auto crew working on it. Uh, someone had the brilliant 
brilliant realization that the sonar intercept auto crew should be separate in dangerous waters, but it is not separate in here. So I got the sonar auto crew turned on. In fact, we're going full auto crew. I got auto crew TMA going too. Oh, TMA updated CR3 to. Not picking up CR3, are we? No. All right, we're gonna turn in. Res resume waypoint follow. That resume waypoint follow is right next to remove. <laughs> That's sketchy. Okay, so the one point of consolation is we don't have to get exactly to that point. We have to get to like three miles of that point. So that's a that's a good that's a that's a good distance. Might be able to go a little slower here then. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. ETA thirty minutes. It's always gonna have time to spare, but I think we can shave off a few knots and try and reduce our counter detection threshold here. Eleven fifteen. I think that's fine. About 13 minutes. Well, 13 minutes should definitely be enough time to get ready in the game. Whether that would be sufficient in real life is another question. But that doesn't matter because we're playing the game. See you later, Mark 11. Oh yeah, active sonar is, uh, in real life, active sonar is generally crap. Uh, these games definitely overstate. More so dangerous waters than cold waters. Cold waters to a, a degree as well overstate how, how well active sonar works. I mean, this. Dangerous Waters and Subcommand, in my opinion, overstate how well all sonar works. <laughs> I think the detection ranges are much too far in these games, at least if this will make sense. Uh, maybe if someone's going like flank speed, you could pick them up at some of the ranges the game predicts, but I think at, at much slower speeds, it would be the detection ranges should be much, much shorter. So, like, may have tweaked the uh, the curve, if you will. 35 minutes to this, huh? Oh, that's a little... That's a little much. Make turns for 13 knots. Let's Maneuvering do the old 1-4 there. Knots. Maneuvering eye. I thought I just did that math and thought it was fine. But there you go, yeah. Half an hour. What's going on there? Was that at 15 knots? Oh, that's the spherical. I gotcha. Uh, Mark 11, you will not get a virus. I downloaded that mod and it is perfectly fine. At least I don't think I have a virus. <laughs> But I, I have no no indications that I have a virus. Super Hussein, hello. Sound from that sub switch is going to be heard very far away. <laughs> Get counter detected with all this clunking. I don't even think Dot has like any executables in it or anything. Does it even come with? The, the generic mod enabler. I think it's all just text files and image files with the old dot mod there. The 
JS Jimmy does come with it. I think so. I'm trying to remember. Let's uh, try and make sure we're not Come left to running three, up on any zero, subs L9. here. Check them toad baffles. Are we tracking CR3? No, TMA's just kind of guessing. Well, at least I can't see him on the sonar here. It may be fiddling. Oh, okay, it's doing the weird thing where, like, you can't see on summer, but we're still getting data, seemingly. Yeah, I don't know if I trust that solution. Oh, okay. I've been doing tracker review on the spherical. Somehow this guy cannot hear me. That's fine. Seems to actually be almost somewhat close here. I want to take a look at the solution. Who? All ahead one third. Two thirds All is fine. Two thirds. Hell am I. He changed course, I changed course, someone changed course. Let's just punch in that, that good old five knots there. Don Knotts. What does that get us? Hard to say. Let them chew at it. If it's like a very narrow, like uh, the way the game works is you can like put them, put the AI inside these like boxes like this. So like it's possible he like, you know, was up in the corner here and then hit this and then they kind of come off at a random angle so then you could like hit another boundary and then make another course change so that can like explain some weird look make some weird looking behavior there but it's hard to say i don't really have enough data sort of the data support no conclusions as yet for all we know this could just be an exercise Bought a hack and then lost control of his pe That's the worst part. <laughs> you bought it. But that's why I don't mess with hacks. Yeah, buy your game, support your developers. Let's not get cynical here. Some of the old baffles there. I was like, oh, have we picked up these guys on narrow band yet? That looks pretty probable. 
on a three knot solution like that, he's still closing with me. He's in a very inconvenient location there. I have never played War Thunder. I mean, I guess it looks fine. I'm just not in that stage of my life anymore <laughs> to play that kind of game. Big online multiplayer thing. That was like high school or... Yeah, high school days. When I played most of those kinds of games. Battlefield 2 and the whatnot. Early college. Battlefield Bad Company 2. World of Warships is kind of fun, but I prefer to play <laughs> against bots and not humans. But I lost interest in World of Warships after, like, I realized each each new tier you hop up is just going to be like a 10% improvement over the previous one, so it's just like, ugh. <laughs> 37 knots. It's not even possible. Oh god, he's making... He's making us think. That is noisy, dude. This waypoint ETA seems kind of janky. 18 minutes, 20 minutes, ugh. Got no choice. Gotta get in there. Make turns for 13 knots. Maneuvering, I. <laughs> So we didn't pick those guys up on, uh, didn't pick the group up, the surface ships. How's that possible? Is this a cooler going a lot faster than I thought? If I'm hearing the cool it, well, I don't believe this range or this speed. I feel like I'd be able to pick up these guys by now. Yeah, TMA is going. TMA is going jank. Uh, it would probably really help them a lot to like, sw excuse me, switch back, uh, switch across, switch my course across the line of bearings of CR three here. But we don't have the time for that. Caffeine Terry, hello. Yeah, I love I love playing against AI, but the AI is always like a second is an afterthought, so they're never that uh, well developed in those kinds of games, the big multiplayer games. No, there's 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 DCS that's not online, <laughs> but there's other reasons why I don't want to play DCS again. Where's the active intercept? The screen or the guy we're tracking? The guy we're tracking's up here. History's kind of all over the place, but he should be locked in good. I really, I, I, I don't know if I tell this to the modern naval warfare guys, but I want to be, I want like an automated tracker to be on a a per contact basis 
and not just the entirety of a TMA. How's this look on CR3? Time to micromanage. They should nickname Dangerous Waters the Micromanage Simulator. <laughs> a decent solution to that solution oh look at that that's uh that is interesting kind of hanging out in some area here seems possible but i think uh some other positions along here could satisfy this that one not as much what about further over here no some weird curviness i think this is a uh, yeah it's looking pretty good over here Okay, I'm going to put a little mark there where I just put that solution because TMA likes to fiddle. Fiddle, uh, a lot of variance in their fiddling. <laughs> so we'll just kind of put that mark there as a guess. There's no way he can't hear me. <laughs> Unless they nerfed him that much on it. Because look how, look how well we're picking him up. We've not been counter-detected. The fact this mission does not have a layer is weird. Or maybe it does. Oh, and these for some reason these Dangerous Waters, these Sunless games, maybe not sub-command, but in Dangerous Waters, they let the layer be, like, deeper than a thousand feet sometimes, which is the jankiest thing. So it could be a surface duct-type boundary, but the layer is just beneath the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Oh yeah, yep, I do the old voice there in cold waters. <laughs> I can't believe that was all six years ago. That came out over six years ago. It's nuts. Refuse to believe that. Private LSD, hello. I'm looking forward to modern naval warfare as well. Chaz is viral. Anyway, they make a cream for that. Oh, yo, Jesus. What is the starting depth? 368 feet? Is that like 300 meters? Or 100 meters? No. I don't know. It's a weird random number. Three, six, eight feet. Is that that Akula? Just chugging along at five knots, but damn, it's getting close. Showing up on broadband and still haven't been counter detected. Yeah, he's definitely like right here. Definitely.
We are almost there. Who's the one pinging? That's the question. Let's do some of this. I want to try and pick these guys up on sonar now. Sixty one point three 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 fathoms. Interesting. JK, hello. Steer zero two one. <laughs> I'm just picking waypoints and letting it sort it out. I'm assuming on the subs you don't generally go finer than like plus or minus five degrees on like a course order. Well, look at that. The uh, the time history on the Akula on the waterfall here is nice and smooth here, but it's all like... <laughs> but that's before like the toad even started moving over here. All right, Sonar, what's going on? We picking up people? Don't seem to be doing nothing. Con Sonar, I have a new contact. Bearing zero four four, designated Sierra four. Okay, it looks like Sierra one, Sierra four, one and the same. For some reason, the Oodaloid is pinging. Udovich. And I want my Nazi scalps. Where are the escorts? That's weird. Not seeing one escort. Yay, tater buns. Tater buns are the best. It's hard to go back to flower buns after tater buns. All right, we're we are here. All ahead, two thirds. Hell am I? Let's get shallow. Make my depth zero. No, nope, not that shallow. Make my depth two zero eight. Oh, okay. There's some jankiness with uh. Zero feet. I hit shift two for periscope. Or shift one maybe for periscope depth, then my order two oh eight went in, then I hit some other button for the shallow depth, which is a hundred. Oh my gosh, that up angle. What is everyone talking about slowing down? We're fine. <laughs> All right. All ahead, one third. Hell, my. The dude obliges. I think there's like one escort in this mission. Let's uh, let's crack it to. Northwest here. I'm gonna see that that escort, dude. I guess we can just raise the scope when we get up here. Make my depth zero six. I don't want to hit shift one. I think that's surface. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. A little sketchy with those hot keys there.
Hello, Splinter. Oh, very detailed. Oh yeah, the old thunderstorms. We got a UPS B the Alpha. <laughs> Don't think you are. No, you are. Now stop trying to flank me and flank me. I do need a cavers. No, I don't need a cavers a depth chart. I need a. I need a, a, an accelerate to flank without cavitating kind of command. What is happening? Depth. Make my depth one zero zero feet. Dive I. What is happening? Why are we Why are we broaching? What is happening? The hell was that? My depth zero six seven feet dive I. The hell was that? I was going five knots. Uh, search protector ain't enough. If that hard drive's right in something that could corrupt if that power gets zoinked. Anytime it rained hard and then they kept blowing the transformer, and I'm sure they just kept replacing it instead of fixing the <laughs> the actual issue because bean counter. All right, let's pop a pop a look see here. Zero four six. Hello. Okay, this is too deep. I can't deal with this. Rocking and rolling. Oh my god, look how far we can see underwater. <laughs> this is the clearest water. That looks... Approach goal complete. Oh, there you go. Approach goal complete, Ski. Where is your friend? There's a friend. The friend is far away. I'm gonna slow to three knots. Turns for three knots. Maneuvering eye. And let's make sure we're going to stay inside this circle here. Come right, course, Escort is behind. Zero. That's uh, doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I'll take it. All right, we got five minutes till the test. What is up with the shading on this thing? Is that shading or a weird drawing error? No, it's some shading. I don't ever remember it looking like it's in that much of relief. I don't think I'm generally at this angle when I do the test. I think I'm generally down like this this area. But there was that dastardly Akula in the way. All right, I will be right back. My UPS battery is still going. Oh, I I got another UPS. I got a uh, I think I got a bigger one for the 3070 Ti. But I use my my old UPS for my work computer and it still hasn't the battery still seems fine. I think it's one of the I think it's like car batteries. If the battery fully discharges, it greatly reduces its life, but I've never had a full discharge on my UPS batteries. Here and hello. Going well for me, thank you. Hope going well for you too. Get this thing up as well. I suppose we don't need the toad in. Toad out. Doesn't really matter though. Oh, hold on a second. Is there some weird, like, let me save this real quick. M0301. Uh, something like three minutes before test. 
I want to look at the manual because I think I feel like I should be getting some uh, some ESM. There should be some some radio in the air, but I'm not seeing any radio. I still have to figure out a way to show the frequency sheet for you guys, but I'm just gonna look at the manual real quick here. What the hell? The order of the stations in the manual is, does not seem to correspond to the function keys. Are you going to tell me ESM depth or do I have to look somewhere else for that? Mm. To look somewhere else. It should work. I mean, I'm shallower than periscope depth, but technically. <clears throat> Depth for use, 37. Oh, it's not a clickable link in the PDF? I don't even know if clickable links in PDFs existed back in 2001. 37 or 140. 65 feet for the 688i. Oh, this... For Seawolf, it's at periscope depth. For Akula, it's at periscope depth. But for 688i, you gotta go two notch shallower. What the heck is that? You dickheads. <laughs> Let's go to a uh, six four. Cause I feel like I should be getting something. There should be some EM spectrum flying around out here. Well, Jake Bunny, hello. Did I have a nice Christmas? Yes, indeed. Hope you did too. The mission here in DOS is to observe a missile test. This guy's gonna launch a missile at an A300. For some reason the Russians decided they wanted to shoot down an A300. At least it wasn't a 777. <laughs> oh, never mind. <clears throat> There's literally no no one's no one's shooting radar. There's no way. I don't I don't buy it. My periscope is lighting up on the ESM, for Christ's sake. Turn into the the oodle here. Come right to course zero three nine. Hell my. That is very weird with the ESM antenna. Jake Bunny says hello. Big fan of your content. Oh, thank you. Glad to have you. Vulcan Rider, hello. Hope your holidays have been good too. Go wake up ESM. <laughs> turn it off and turn it back on again. It's up. Maybe let's try the old, uh, try some 62 feet here. Because the, the periscope's going off like a freaking Christmas tree here, but there we go. Okay, so. The manual's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nustra Shimmy. There's that civilian aircraft. Can we see it? Probably not. Oh no, we can't look at that. There it is. Oh my god. An aeroplane. I'm surprised we can see it. Who's that there, Governor? Is that the Udaloy? Remember him turning in this test. Oh god, of course we're still freaking changing course. You know what? Just right, stop. Zero, two, oh no! 
Okay, maybe I got the photo of the missile launching. Ah! He jumped the gun. He jumped it. If I fail, well, I have a save point, so. Okay. <laughs> if I fail, it's not not the end of the world. Oh, that's fun, at least. Cow. Boom. Oh, we missed. Oh no, never mind. Now we did miss. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That's a photo right there. Kaplovsky. Damn, that was loud. <laughs> Tackle complete missile test successful. Okay, we gotta keep collecting data for a few minutes here. Which I guess just means remain a periscope up. Four new 10 terabyte drives to finish out the NAS upgrade. Goodness gracious. No, we're not off Halifax anymore. Now we're in like the Barren Sea or something. Yeah, we're up here in the Barrens. There's no via Zemlia. <laughs> but yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> Doing a missile test right off Halifax there. Hello, hello. Guys, yeah, far away. Take a picture of you too. <clears throat> I don't think it's relief shading, I think it's just like drawing weird. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Start that Napoleon Dynamite gif. Oh god, sorry, I paused it right on an ESM boop. Done. Oh, that one shouldn't have been 01 done. Mission complete ski. Alright. Oh, we remain undetected. I thought there was no counter detected goal for a second, so there you go. Awesome. Sweet. Oh, I forgot to change my name. That's fine. If I change my name, does that start a new save? I don't know how that works. Don't want to risk it. Watching boats chuck nukes at Nova Zemlia. Yeah, that's uh, a <laughs> that's a big oof there. I wonder if there was. I'm sure there was a boat observing for like there was a whiskey that tested a a nuclear torpedo out there in Nova Zemlia. Oh, you <laughs> trained on stuff, <laughs> Loch Ness monster stuff. <laughs> All right, what is up next, Severmorsk? Drop off seal detachment. Ooh, we're getting <laughs> we're getting hunter killer here. Oh boy. All right. Let's caution as the area may be mined. Ah, okay. I'm remembering the mines now. All right. That'll be it for today. See you guys next time. Have a good one. And as always, good hunting. And if I don't stream before the new year, have a happy new year.